Good morning, family. I'm Stephanie Wadey. I'm Habasa, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa, as well as the one and only Creole Griot Tish, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? No matter where you are in this world, I hope that you are having a wonderful and a blessed day. Yes. I am still in the Gambia. I am having a beautiful day because I woke up y'all this morning and I was happy that I could praise the Most High by saying hallelujah, hallelujah. Just sitting here looking at the birds flying around and <laughs> singing. It just made my day, y'all, already. I kept peeping outside my window to see when the light was coming out. It's supposed to be kind of like the Gambian wintertime out here. <clears throat> It's windy and it's cooler than it was when I first arrived. And I'm not gonna lie, no love lost for the hot, hot, hot. But it reminds me so much of the Texas mild winter of my beautiful island of Galveston that yes, I will return to. Not this year, <clears throat> but if the most I say the same, I will be returning. I got things to do over there and people to see y'all. But I tell y'all, I'm gonna do my best to stay in a moment. <laughs> Your little small birds are so amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna do my best to stay in a moment while I'm here and enjoy every moment of being here. And then when I'm not y'all, I'm going to be playing my videos just as much for me <clears throat> as some of you are playing it for yourselves, visualizing yourselves of where I am right now. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. <clears throat> I appreciate and love all of you guys. Agape love, that is. I have to quantify sometimes, you know, because some people get carried away when they're describing things. But anyway, I'm in Africa, y'all. <laughs> this is recorded live, fighting with the little insects, too. I did not spray again before I came outside. I sprayed when I was in my room last night, but again, just before shooting, I didn't. <clears throat> sometimes I remember, most times I remember, but sometimes I do forget. But it, it doesn't really matter. It's cool enough where I should still be fine other than to swat a fly hand there. But anyway, y'all, I hope no matter where you are in the world, that you will go out and enjoy it to the fullest. As I know you guys already know that happiness comes from within. It's not received from any specific place. Sometimes we are blessed to be able to move about and change our environments. We can go from the majority concept, the majority paradigm of people groups being flipped, up, flipped over, around. I'm a so-called minority in the USA. But when I come here, y'all, I'm in the majority. 
and they say, whose report will you believe? And me, I choose the majority report because of the way it makes me feel and how I see the world. And I try my best to retain as much of it as possible when I'm not here also. So anyway, that's just me, y'all. I try not to focus too much on any other people group other than my people. You will not hear me even use any derogatory words when describing anybody else's group. That's just not part of my character, y'all. I'm trying to save my energy just to focus on the immediate happenings, my immediate surroundings. And it's all under my control right now. If I wanna call somebody to take me somewhere, I just simply pick up the phone, y'all. Even when the internet wasn't working, I always had phone access. And I call our driver Abib and he'd come get us. And sometimes it was our driver Ali, he'd come get us. Either way, y'all, I kept it moving. And it was all good, y'all. I was well taken care of. And I tell you, I was taken care of and I felt like I paid fair price for my private taxi ride. So it was all good. I was happy, they was happy, we was happy. Nobody was cutting off their phone so they couldn't get my message. <laughs> Cause they was gonna have to argue with me about the price every time. At least I don't have to keep asking what price. I already have an idea of what's a fair price and good price and I got that. So I'm good y'all. But anyway y'all. I'm enjoying this nature view. <laughs> I know y'all are hearing some of it. As well as seeing some of it. One day, I'm visualizing myself winning the lotto. No, I gotta go back to Texas to do that. Win the Texas lotto, a big one, y'all. And then I could come back get my little round house, <laughs> set up all this cooperative. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to set up all this cooperative. <laughs> Before I leave y'all, you know, her boss is gonna help our Gambian brothers and sisters, not everybody, but us. Uh, get the uh, uh, the first group started anyway on a, a cooperative cooperative ventures where they can go to another level but it'll be self-determination y'all just simply paying for the registration that's all paying for the registration opening up the little small bank account, whatever it is, to open it up, and they on their own, y'all. They'll be on their own, and I know they'll do just fine, just fine. I'm just trying to get some of these birds in the background. I know y'all be able to see them when I'm play back, maybe some of them. I don't know. Because, you know, sometimes they blend in so much with the fence, you can't tell the bird from the fence unless the bird <laughs> fly away <laughs> while I'm recording. I know they there, there you go, there you go. Now you see that it was a bird on that fence. <laughs> it's like barbed wire fence, but they're uh, perching in between the wire. They just so interesting. 
how they do that. Something that people made to call themselves t uh, keeping people out. It's giving a resting place to the birds. <sighs> Always a matter of perspective, y'all. Like I say, I choose to see the glass not half full as opposed to half empty, but to see it overflowing, y'all, overflowing with abundance. And you know, I always heard and read that you was a blessing and had food in your storehouse so that you could be a blessing to others. So you know that it wasn't just for you to enjoy. And that fits my personality just fine, y'all. I love sharing. If y'all are anything like me, I'll leave the information for y'all to leave a donation through PayPal, Cash App, or simply just join the Habasio family. Complimentary by becoming a Patreon member. And the membership start very small, y'all. From as little as three dollars a month. But anyway, guys. For all you guys that's out there watching me, please subscribe if you have not. It's free, y'all. It's free. So, if you cannot or will not uh, become a patron or donate, please subscribe. subscribe and did I say subscribe it's free <laughs> and just send me your prayers so I can work with my other Habasa peeps to get some things done before I go and come back again the Habasa Food Forest Project is coming along, y'all. The fence is almost completed. I should be able to go and make a trip back to the land site soon so I can get another picture of the beginning work. Because that's how it is in uh, Gambia. When you don't have a whole lot of money, you start off wherever you are. They call it slowly by slowly. You mark your four corners, and then you bring your bricks up for what you can afford. And then you save up, and you start again. But y'all know me in these high walls, if y'all have watched me at all. And I really don't like the high walls. So marking the boundaries is a wonderful thing. But after that, child, it's going to be bamboo planted during the rainy season. And when I come back after rainy season, that bamboo is going to be looking so beautiful. Mother Nature will just be giving me such a beautiful kiss when I see all of the bamboo that's going to surround me. I'm just getting excited just thinking about my bamboo fence. and uh, banana trees growing, the little dwarf ones for me, and the big ones for the monkeys, and hopefully a chimpanzee or two. And y'all know, if they eat from the little tree, I don't mind. I don't mind sharing with them either. It actually makes me feel good to know that they are uh, coming to visit me and think my place is a natural spot to hang out. I plan to take plenty of, plenty photos 
once the Habasa Food Forest is home to some of the creatures that the Most High has given us to enjoy visually <laughs> and hearing them and all of that. None of that turning them into pets and feeding the monkeys personally, no, none of that peanut stuff. Just simply allowing them to enjoy their bananas and their monkey bread and whatever all else naturally occurs in the forest that they eat. I'll find that out and make sure that some of that is growing on the land. You don't need a big piece of land to do big things. It's just a matter of biodiversity, y'all. Biodiversity. I'm going to read some more about it today on my permaculture book that I brought here. And I'm going to leave here, y'all. I'm going to leave that book here in good hands. Because I got too many things to bring back anyway. And folks here need it just as much as I do. And I can always get me more permaculture books when I go back home. But y'all, I'm going to turn this camera around just for a minute again. Uh, I wish this was a more detailed camera, but I am going to come back out with my other camera just to take some pictures, share with y'all when I get home, tell you 
This is a definitely interesting place. It's so beautiful. Even if I don't take the photos today before I leave, I'm gonna take more to share. And I'm gonna figure out how to edit the video to share with y'all. It's all a learning process, y'all. All a learning process. And remember, when I show you this tree, it's like a Where's Waldo kind of shot. Cause it's birds all in that tree, y'all. See, once they move, then you can tell that they're not, or just simply a part of the tree. And I don't know if the sun is gonna come out today. Maybe it'll be an overcast day, I don't know, cause it's kinda early still. And I'm not gonna make this video too much longer for the simple reason that if I do, I won't be able to upload it very well. I hope you guys have enjoyed sharing some of these views of nature with me. That little bird is something else, y'all. If y'all could just see it when it's passing behind me <laughs> when I, I'm recording. It's like at jet speeds. Oh, yeah, y'all. The door is fixed. No wooden thing there today. <laughs> they just have to paint later, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I tell y'all. I've been looking at the sky, but I don't know where it is these birds are going. So it's not like I can actually give y'all a, a shot of the bird. I'm trying to figure out how this camera angles work. <clears throat> One day y'all don't visualize I have a camera person out here. A Gambian working this camera for me. Maybe two different angles. <laughs> Give y'all even one of those uh, drone shots. How about that? <laughs> but not now, but later. At least I can let y'all hear the birds, even if you can't see them that good. When you project it to your TV, I think it'll be more detailed. There you go. There you go, the little ones. They love this little thing behind me. Oh, y'all. He did it for y'all. I'm so happy. Well, anyway, guys, until next episode, what? Peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all, from the Gambia, wearing my little Pan-African woman shirt that I actually got doing Kwanzaa and Galveston from one of the vendors. Yes, one of the vendors. I love doing cooperative economics, y'all. Not just doing Kwanzaa, but all year long, whether I'm in the diaspora or in the motherland. My limit is my pocketbook. My pocketbook is Texas retiree money. <laughs> and I help support my house and the Galveston. Meaning I pay the bills there. It's my house. Used to be my mama's place. So I do follow African retention traditions with the family house. Otherwise, the, 
that a homestead here would be done. But you know, guys, I'm good. I'm good. If I'm supposed to go faster, I get more patrons, I get more subscribers, I'd eventually get monetized, I'll win the lottery, or whatever, y'all. But anyway, life is good. I hope it's good for you too. <laughs> These birds, there's too much, but I gotta let y'all go. <sighs> See you in the next episode, y'all. Bye.